Ever thought about navigating a weekend in New York City with teenagers? Imagine, two mothers, three teenage girls, and the city that never sleeps. Sounds challenging, correct? Brace yourselves. We're plunging into the heart of the city, equipped with nothing more than a map and a credit card. Our goal? To explore iconic landmarks, savor the city's diverse food, and dive into unique experiences, all within a compact 48-hour window. First up, we have the famous Times Square. There's nothing quite like the sensory overload of flashing billboards, street performers, and the incessant honking of yellow taxis. But be warned, it's not for the faint-hearted. It's vibrant, it's chaotic, and it will most definitely test the limits of your patience. After that delightful sensory assault, we make our way to the Museum of Modern Art, a sanctuary for the culturally inclined and the perfect place to introduce teenagers to the world of art. A word to the wise, though, don't expect them to be as thrilled by Picasso's Les Demoiselles d'Avignon as you are. Day two, and we're off to Central Park, a green oasis in the concrete desert, offering a brief respite from the city's relentless pace. Here, we attempt to navigate the winding paths, dodge speedy cyclists, and avoid overzealous squirrels. From the tranquility of Central Park, we plunge back into the urban jungle for a visit to the Empire State Building. A word of advice though, don't look down. It's a long way to the ground from 86 floors up. Finally, we round off the weekend with a Broadway show. Because let's face it, nothing screams New York louder than a rousing chorus number in a packed theater. So in summary, a weekend in New York with teenagers is a whirlwind of bright lights, modern art, city parks, towering skyscrapers and Broadway magic. It's exhausting, it's exhilarating and it's everything you'd expect it to be. But is it too much? Perhaps. There's a thin line between an action-packed weekend and a race against the clock. So if you're planning a similar adventure, maybe consider slowing down the pace. After all, New York isn't going anywhere. And on that note, we wrap up our journey. From the bustling streets of Times Square to the dizzying heights of the Empire State Building, it's been one wild ride. So what do you think? Too much? Too little? Or just right? And what other New York attractions would you recommend? Remember, New York is a city best enjoyed at your own pace. So take a deep breath, hold on tight, and enjoy the ride. You're in for quite the adventure. And remember, the best way to survive a weekend in New York with teenagers, keep your sense of humor intact and your credit card handy. You're going to need them both. Subscribe to Vacation Advertiser for more travel ideas, tips and hacks.